axe work. The axe is the go-to tool in the woods. I mean, you got to have the axe. If you had the choice to take one tool, it would be the axe. If you had axe and fire, you're probably going to make it. A couple quick pointers on the axe. Don't hit your feet, it's the main one. That sounds silly, but there, there it is ways to do that safely. I'm cutting this pole on the ground. I want it about yo long. Actually, I want it. There's another thing you do with your ax. I measured my shoulder down there. I know how many pole lengths was the other pole, how many ax lengths was the other pole. Three and a half. I marked it. It sunk in the snow. I cut this way when I marked it. Now I'll cut the other way. Feet wide. That way if you miss, it goes between your feet. You stand in here like this, and you take a swing and miss, you'll hit your foot. But you gotta be able to use your axe both hands to get to be good. And there's no way to teach you that. It takes thousands and thousands of hours of ax time to get to where you can use both hands. And there's one pole. You gotta keep a sharp axe too. A dull axe is really dangerous because it's bouncing off shit. You're, you're swinging it too hard when it's dull. Dull tools are dangerous. Most craftsmen, all craftsmen know that and it applies to survival as well. Don't hit your feet and learn to use both hands to keep your axe sharp. I mean, you got a good swing Yeah. and uh, you know, good stance. Yeah. Obviously, you've slung some axe, but uh, I'm going to show you something. If I get a spot here where I can stand. You kind of get, I call it two blocked. I don't know what you would call it. But. You know, you're always just chopping down this little groove. Right, right. You know, you want to try to fling a chip with an axe. See that chip? Uh-huh. And you can't do it in that narrow little groove. Oh, right. You're going straight down. Yeah. You want a chip. Oh, no. Big chip flying off it. Oh, <laughs> See how I take a chip off that side? Uh -huh. And then I can go to the other side and really get a big one. You know, you want to make the chips fly. And you have to start off wide because you will get tight. It's going to get tighter. Eventually. Tighter. Uh -huh. But you always cut the far side easier than your near side. Yeah. And that's good because the near side is where you'll get hit. Uh -huh. And then it's hard to get it on to, but it's just as that's going in and it's loose, you give your axe a little Flip it. flick. But see, I ran out of room, but now you move to this side and you got all kinds of room. When 
when I was at Rock House, sometimes I'd chop halfway through and when I was good tired like I am now, yeah. I'd saw a little bit yeah. too. Kind of just. Let your lungs catch up. Yeah. Use different muscles. You could breathe better. Yeah. <laughs> Then you go ahead, you'll get tight now. But I can go back to the other side one more time. The bar has been set. <laughs> well now you'll you'll knock them right out now. 